My recent favorite is Control Shift 3. So there are different date formats in US and in India. Probably, I believe the Europe uses different from, so you put months in the middle here in India and dates on the left and so on. So when I see, you know, 1, 2, 2015, I get confused. So recently, last, last one year, I have been formatting all my dates with 1-March-2015, something like this. So I have been using Control shift 3 a lot, but then uh, I believe Control r Control d is probably the most uh, common shortcut that I use. Actually, you know, I believe it is a test of a programmer that how many minimum different formulas that you can write and you can do a control R D that the same formula works for a big range and uh, it is dynamic enough to take care of everything. So yeah, I would say, you know, control R control D if M, if Excel cancels all for shortcuts, if control R and control D is there, I'll still be a happy man. I, I do have a favorite shortcut, but unfortunately it's not one that's in general Excel. Uh, it is in spreadsheet advantage, which is the software that I co-wrote. And, and, and the shortcut is one that allows me to select a group of cells and it basically just does the dependence arrows uh, for all the cells at once. And the reason I use that a lot and I like it is um, kind of my uh, principle that every time I change something in a model, especially if it's not my own model, I want to understand where that those cells are going first so I don't make changes and have sort of uh, unintended consequences. And so that, that's just a quick way for me to do the dependence on every cell that I want to change. Um, even if I'm just deleting something, I want to make sure that it's not going anywhere. So I, I, I usually run that first um, to check the dependency. So that's something I use all the time. I feel one feature of Excel that will save people a lot of time and reduce mistakes a lot is just the dollar sign uh, in the sense that if you set up your model correctly, uh, you know, your, your input and your calculation and your output, a lot of times you can just um, copy and paste one formula and achieve a lot of things. And, and the really, really bad models that I see are the ones where they don't set up properly. You know, the inputs are spaced out with, you know, with empty rows in, uh, in twin. So then you're writing all sorts of formulas to do one thing. Um, and so, so it's more about model design. I think if the design is uh, well thought out, then Excel has this dollar sign thing, which will simplify everyone's lives a lot. I can't like, there's no one shortcut that stands out to me that sort of, you know, saves a massive amount of time. Um, no, you've got the basics, um, you know, when you're sort of navigating through your model, like control open bracket and things like that, they're very helpful. But it used to be autofill, like fill series, alt EIS, whatever it is in the new uh, Excel thing okay. now. Um, but you've got things like sequence that does a lot of that for you. But still, if you're typing in January, February, um, and most people would, you know, you get your mouse, you click and drag, alt EIS, then alt F is, um, is sort of autofill. And there probably is a new lot. H I S or no, it's insert. Uh, there's probably like a way the new thing that like that's one of the old shortcuts from XLA3. Um, but yeah, I think that was quite helpful, but maybe I don't see a lot of people use. But other than that, I think like there's no real one shortcut. It's just sort of trying to be able to navigate around as confidently as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm.